Whether you're in a home garden or a greenhouse, plants are bound to hit the struggle bus once in a while. Now the plant that I just showed you in that last clip has a couple different things going on. I've seen scaly mites on there, ants that are harvesting aphids, and then even some black sooty mold. You can see the ants that are kind of going up and down the stems, they're harvesting aphids. You can see these bumps here, these are the scale mites. And the black sooty mold here that is on the leaves, it's actually a fungus that grows on the insects. Uh, so for most situations, whether you know exactly what the fungal issue is, bacterial issue, or the insect problem, the approach on curing it is usually going to be pretty close to the same thing. In a one gallon container, you're going to mix uh, one ounce of neem oil and about a teaspoon of basic H2 cleaner. Now the basic H2 cleaner is an organic plant-based surfactant that's going to help emulsify the neem oil into the mixture so it doesn't burn the leaves. So I really like this instead of using a, um, like a Castile soap because there are no fragrances, no essential oils that could interact uh, with the plant's natural waxy coating. Now because this is a smaller application, I've used only about a fourth of that dilution in a spray bottle. Give it a good shake up to emulsify the neem oil. Now when you apply it, you're going to make sure that you thoroughly coat the plant, even the undersides of the leaves. Do your application in the cool of the day so the sun doesn't bake this on the plant. You could even choose to do this right at sunset so it can work all night long. Now what I really like about the neem oil is yes it does kill the insects, but it's not going to interact with your native pollinators because it really only stays active on the plant for about 24 to 36 hours. Now usually one application of this mixture is going to solve the problem, but once in a while, if it's really on the struggle bus, you may have to repeat it in about five to seven days. So just to repeat, this can be used on insect issues, on fungal issues, on bacterial issues. If you're not really sure what's going on with the plant, the neem oil is a nice broad spectrum application that's not really a cure-all, but it's pretty darn close. Now for those of you that are real crafty, if you don't want to go buy your neem oil, you could purchase a neem tree, dry the leaves, and then soak the dried leaves in olive oil for about three months. After three months of soaking the neem leaves, put it inside a Vitamix blender, give it a good waz up, and strain out that mixture, and then you've got this beautiful neem oil that will save for years in your garden. So next time you've got a fruit tree, a berry bush, or other plant that's on the struggle bus, don't grab for the insecticides. Grab for basic H2 and some neem oil and give it the best go.